Making more money in your plumbing business. Three things you need to know. Now, think about this. Really, it's any business. Do you wanna learn how to make more money? There's different ways to do it, but I'm gonna give you three things in your plumbing business that you can do to make more money. But look at your business and think, well, if they could do that in plumbing, what could I do here? See, I'm Roger Wakefield. I've been plumbing for 42 years. And here's the thing. I used to be one of those old school plumbers. Get in, hit it hard, fix it, get my money, get out of there and get on to the next job. Well, now I've learned to slow down, build relationships, look at all the issues, do a 360 degree inspection, inspect everything in the house and let people know what problems they have or what future problems they can have. But today I'm gonna to tell you about three things you can do, you can start learning how to do right now that will actually help you make more money each and every day. Working with real estate agents, now, now that's number one. Now, it's really funny because one of my friends, whenever I first started looking at the idea of opening my company, told me, you never want to work with real estate agents. They're really hard to work with. But we started working with real estate agents doing water and sewer tests. Now, this is great no matter what area you're in. Go out and build relationships with realtors, with real estate agents. If you're a plumbing company owner, this is a great thing to do. Get out and network, but get to know real estate agents. Let them know every house they are helping a customer buy could have a leak under it. The only way to prove it is to go in and do a sewer water test. And this is something we got really, really good at. Not only can you build great relationships with real estate agents, but you can build relationships with a lot of them and they can refer you to a ton of people. If that's something you're interested in, if you're interested in growing your business, real estate agents can help you do that very, very well. Now, when you do that sewer water test, here's a good thing. If you'll build relationships with either the buyer, the seller, whoever it is you're going to work for, but even the other one, if the buyer hires you to come to a sewer water test, you do it and determine there's a leak. Well, now the seller may be your next customer because if you tell them, look, you do have a leak under here, here's what we could do to help you find it, locate it, possibly even make the repair. Number two, slab leak detection, slab leak location and slab leak repair. Now I bunch that up as one because say you go out to a house to do a sewer water test. Now you determine that there's a leak. Well, if it's on the slab or if it's under the slab, you need to figure out how to locate it, find it and repair it. So here in Texas where we're located, we would run test balls in the sewer, plug it up, fill it up to see where the leak is. If we know that there's a leak under the house, we may position test balls throughout the system in different areas to isolate areas. That way we can keep filling it up until we know we get something holding, then we know where the leak is. Now, this takes a lot of training, but I mean, we've got test balls and hoses up to 100 feet. We'll take a camera, help get it right where we want it, blow it up, that way we can test different areas. Once you do this on the sewer, now you've got an opportunity to come in and say, look, we've tested it, we've isolated everything else, we know exactly where the leak is, here's a price to make that repair. Now, if it's water, it's a little bit different. You're gonna come in with good leak detection equipment. Start at the meter, come into the valve box, go into the house, start at the hot water heater, isolate everything. Your location is a big part because you need to be able to tell them right where that leak is. Why? Like a plumber out of California did. Last week he got trained on leak detection equipment, got a call Monday morning, went out, sold a reroute. So they figured out exactly where the leak was, sold them a $14,000 reroute. And while they were there, they tested the water and figured out they really needed a whole house water filtration system because of the chlorine in the system and they had really hard water, so they put an anti-scale device. So that's my number three, a whole house water filtration system. If you're a plumber, if you're a plumbing company owner, why aren't you testing water in people's houses every time you walk in? Or are you? If you are a plumber, let me ask you that. Do you test people's houses for leak every time? And do you test their water every time you walk in? Because to me, that's really a big deal. I did not realize that I needed a whole house water filtration system until I was brushing my teeth one morning and the chlorine smell was so strong, I decided, you know what? I've got to do something about this. I got a test kit, tested my water, realized how high it was, talked to some other plumbers, and we looked into a whole house water filtration system. Now, we did the, the Flowtech, the plumber's choice, but their customer service is so horrible, we ended up pulling that system out and putting in a Halo 5. You find a system that works for you, and hopefully you find one that has good customer service. Sorry, David, is what it is. But here's the thing. A whole house water filtration system is something as a plumber you can test every time you walk in a house. You get the test kits, you come in, you explain to people, say, hey, look, while I'm here, we 
do a 360 degree inspection. We want to check everything. And some of the plumbing problems that we come in your house to fix every day could be caused by your water. Think about it. We need chlorine in the water so we don't get mold, mildew, and bacteria delivered to people's drinking water. But we don't necessarily want to drink all that. So a whole house water filtration system is a great way to go. So if you're a plumber and you come in, you test that water, explain to the customer why, and then show them the test results. There's also reports that will show them what's in their local water and what they can possibly do to make it better. So my thing is, as a plumber, this is something you want to get really good at. Most plumbers nowadays are going to a percentage pay, to a commission pay, to a performance pay. Here's the thing. If every house you walk in, you look at the entire house and give people options and opportunities. Do they have a leak somewhere? Do they need a sewer water test? Can you walk in a house and tell they've got foundation problems and maybe their slab is not right? A lot of that's caused by a leak under the slab. So give them that option. Would you like me to test that while I'm here? It looks like your house is shifting. I looked at your meter, it's spinning. Chances are you've got a leak. You don't see the meter spinning. Hey, would you like me to do a sewer test real quick? I saw you've got clean outs out front. I can put a test ball in, fill it up, and just tell you if you have any problems. While you're there, how much longer would that take you? Then if there is a leak, now you can offer them slab leak location and slab leak repair. But also, every house that we walk in, whether you're dealing with a toilet, a lavatory, a water heater, it doesn't matter. You should be checking out their water quality and finding a way to give them better options each and every day. I hope this helps you. Now, if you're an electrician, if you're an HVAC tech, what could you be looking at every time you walk in somebody's house? Can you be selling them indoor air quality? You know, a nice filtration system. Can you be selling them a GFCI protected house? What can you offer them? What can you do for them that really it would benefit them? A lot of people, me as a buyer, you offer me something and let me know why it's gonna benefit me, I'll tell you what, I'm interested in buying. I hope you got something out of this today because those are three easy things you can do to help make more money at your company. But here's the thing, you're really doing it by helping your customer have a better system. I hope this helped you out and I hope you got something good at it. If there's anything that you're doing that I didn't mention, do me a favor and leave me a comment down below and let me know what else we could be looking at. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, helping you make more money in the trades.